The famous football coach Vince Lombardi is known to hold up a football on the first day of practice and tell his players this is a football. And even though these players are professionals, he always started with the basics when talking about football. Um, he would measure the size of the field. He would teach his players every little detail about the game on the first day of practice to build a foundation that he could work on in the future. And so today we're going to talk about fruit trees and how to prune them. But before I even talk about the pruning, I would like to just say this is a fruit tree. And fruit trees consist of three main parts. We have the canopy, we have the root system, which we can't see because it's underground, and the two systems, the canopy and the root system, are joined by the trunk. If I were to cut this trunk and inspect the rings and the center of that, that wood, what we would find are several layers. In the center of the trunk, we would find a dark core. That's called the heartwood. And the heartwood, it's hard, it's, it's rigid, and it's not even alive. The main purpose of the heartwood is to create structure. It's kind of like the rebar in concrete. It creates a rigid structure for the tree to be supported. As we go out away from the heartwood, we have several rings of light green wood. And that is called the sapwood. And it is exactly what it sounds like. It's where the sap is flowing through the trunk and the branches. Where the sapwood ends, the bark begins. But there's a real fine, almost microscopic layer of tissue between the sapwood and the bark called the cambium. And the cambium is where the actively dividing cells are occurring. Those cells are producing new sapwood one direction and bark the other direction. And that's the only part of the tree trunk, the wood that's actively growing, is just those few cells in between the bark and the wood. Uh, the inner bark is where the majority of the sugars are being stored and transported. This is called the phloem. In review, your fruit tree's trunk consists of heartwood, sapwood, cambium, phloem, and all of this is being protected by the bark tissue.